Okay, an as extra proposal of Soul Flat Brothers, we have Pulacayo, which is uh, on the way from Uyuni to Potosí, 18 kilometers. It's an old silver mine, which used to be one of the biggest silver mines of the 18 and early 1900s. We can get to see there a little basketball court where Harlem Globetrotters demonstrated and played basketball with the locals. And also we can get to see a bowling and also the headquarters of the company plus the, the bus has the other side that's keep drop the train. Dice no, estás en la lista, no estás en la lista. A cierto punto se necesita concordar con todos para Well, here we are at the train station of Pulacayo which is actually the first train station of Bolivia, even earlier than the one in Uyuni. And these trains were the first trains which arrived into Bolivia. And back in the 1900s, early 1900s, you know, the which case the Sundance kids, those bandits from the United States, broke one of these trains. Now we can get to see an electrical post here, which is over 100 years old. And Pulacayo is actually the first town having electricity you know, because of the mining industry. Okay, we can get to see the industrial city of the 19th century, which is Pulacayo. And also we can get to see a little bit like to the left a mountain, which is religious for them you know, because before town of Pulacayo became a like industrial town or by mining industrial town and there was already a little indigenous people community living here which used to venerate this, the mountain that we can get to see in front of us which is called Paisano. Here we can also get to see a little train which used to work in, in the mine you know like transporting wheels. It's one of the first trains which arrived to Bolivia. You now we can see in the plate, we can see Baldwin Locomotive Works, Philadelphia, US. But the plate is fake. Actually, this train is originally made in England because they wanted to take it to other museums in Potosí, so that's why to camouflage it, they just had to put that one, those plates to hide it from the 1800s. We are at 4,100 plus meters over sea level. Actually, this place was one of the biggest silver mines in the world at the time, you know? And here we are, this building is the headquarters of the mining company at the time. The, the owner of these mines was the, one of the Bolivian presidents of our history. His name was Aniceto Arce. He was, or compared to the United States, he was kind of the Bolivian Andrew Carnegie. And, and here we are at the gates, and it's quite a big building, a very interesting building for its age, especially, you know, over 100 years, and the wood is all oak, it's not like this. Okay, continuing talking a little bit about the building behind me, you know, it's, uh, again, it's from the 1800s, so it is Victorian style, you know, back from the Industrial Revolution. So we can get to see here like the first times that they started welding, for example, you know? So it's, it's kind of imitation to the Industrial Revolution which happened back in England. Inside of the building of the headquarters of the mining company, this building is from the 1878 year when it started to work as offices. You know, it's got a view of the town of Rakayo. You can also see discs in that age.
A very amazing curiosity in here in Potosí is just right located right in front of the uh, Casa Gerense or headquarters of the company. We have the old church which was burnt and then later on they put a uh, bowling or palitroque which they put in Spanish. So it's like semi underground building downstairs. Famous actors, famous people came all here to do the film called The Witch Castle and Sandals Kid, for example. But Robert Jackson was here while he was working as an actor, acting for us for Witch Castle and Sandals Kid. He came over and in some recreation stuff, he also did play a little bit over here, you know, like some famous people came to here and they were here also for. A little while, like playing, like throwing these bowlings and stuff like this. For its age, actually, this bowling is one of the first bowlings in Bolivia as well. To all visitors of Pulacay, to Pulacayo, when they come over, it's a good idea to visit this place as well. You know, it's quite cool and interesting place that you guys can actually play a little bit uh, with the bowling. It's semi underground, okay? Yeah.